We're here at Switch Electrical Wholesale in Peterborough and we've got another roundup of products. What we're looking at today, Gary? We're looking at products for the first fix of an electrical installation and products that should save electricians time is what mm. we're looking at. So if we start off with you, Gordon, what have you got? Well, I've had this from a, uh, across the pond. Wow. Look at this beast. So, I don't know about you, Gary, but it, I think we've slipped back into the world of carpentry again. That looks like a nail gun to me. It does look like a nail gun, mm. but this is a nail gun that's been specially adapted with some cable clips inside it. Ah. So, now, it came across, it's, a, it's an it's American product, Devolt, or Devolt, or Dewalt or Walt Disney, whatever we're... Uh... <laughs> Let's go with Dewalt. We like Dewalt, that yeah, being yeah, the brand name. Yeah, yeah. we have some. <laughs> one that's written on the side there, Gordon. If Deep anyone can tell us how to pronounce the name properly, then well, please I think correct they just us. Did. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Um, but dead simple, yep, yeah, bit of cable, put it on, and wow. there you go. Look at that. Oh, I'll goodness. do another one of them. So I think this potentially is a huge time saver for that anyone uh, on site, so I think, yeah. So timber frame houses, commonplace now. So we get one of those out the back of the electrician's van and yep. off we go. Yeah. So, nice, Joe, do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. In fact, you know what, guys? I think I can feel, with that bit of kit, I think I can feel a race coming on. I think we could do something interesting with that. And I'd like to do a product review, because yeah. obviously I'm suggesting that I'm not going to get it in the race, I'm going to get oh, no. a, a hammer and a mouthful of clips. Absolutely, Is that what I'm you'll be doing the clipping, <laughs> and I'll be using the uh, the staple gun there. Yeah, that, that looks like a great bit of kit. So, be in, yeah, it'd be interesting to see, you know, the, the speed of maybe doing yeah. several metres of that, but yeah. also might be interesting to see, they look like they're a metallic clip in, in uh, majority the build-up of that clip is metallic. Yeah. Maybe if we put a blowtorch on it as well, just to see for that premature yeah. collapsing maybe as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah, it's got the, the metal background with sort of a plastic uh, oh, sort right. of softener there almost, hasn't I'm it? I'm sure so, everyone's yeah. going to say, well, you're con connecting to a timber joist, but a timber joist won't collapse within that period of time either. Of course, so. of course. Well, I think that's worth, you know, interesting product. Came from across the pond, so I think I'll, I'll, think I'll give that to you, Joe. I'll, I'll find a good home for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Oh, just pop a few of these in my mouth, shall I? I don't think this is a foregone conclusion, do you? I think I oh, think this could yeah. be, uh, you know, that's a terrible pun. Oh, <laughs> 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 Very good. I'm always on. Right. So, product review. Yep. I think we'll have a race. Um, we'll put it through its paces. Let's yep. see if it is as, uh, as good as any suggest it is at clipping cables to timber. Absolutely. That one. Yeah, we'll have some fun with that. That'll be good. What do you got over there then, Joe? So, what I'm looking at is uh, a Wall Raven product. Uh, and this is the RSWB, or Rapid Sliding Wall Bracket. And the idea behind this is that this takes a lot of the uh, time and uh, sort of messing about with bits of timber to create uh, fixings for sockets, in, again, in stud walls or timber frame buildings. So we could argue that's got a lot in common with Gordon today. Yes, absolutely. I'm not obsessed with joinery. I think it's got a lot in common with you today, uh, Gordon, because I think you attach that between two studs, so you could say you're currently trapped between yep. two studs Works at this well moment. Between two studs, oh, oh, oh. Gordon. I, like I don't think so. I think these are rich, so, yeah. Yeah, that's it's a clever right. bit of kit. So the idea is that it comes like this, and you break those two bits apart, and then they slot together. Okay. Yeah, well, I've got well. it. There you go. That's and then it. we can position that between timber or metal studs. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so and then we fold those back, obviously. Do it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, they fold back and allow you a fix in, and then you can screw your box onto so there. So we can turn, turn around. We can place. obviously then place yep. our box on like so. Absolutely. That's really good. Nice. Allows you to get it to the right depth, and of course, because it slides, it can go between uh, any spacing. Of and what do these wings do? So that's where you put your fixing on. So you'll fold that out to either and then metal you'll, or timber uh, stud. Screw through that onto yeah. the stud. Fold over the excess and you're away. All right, really good. And because it comes fully adjustable, it removes the need for the electrician to hunt down a piece yeah. of timber on site, yep. hunt down a saw. Measure it, cut it, yeah. yeah. Realise that you're not a carpenter, cut it again. <laughs> okay. Taking it in right. And what if we're going between a shorter stud? Does that mean I need to set the hacksaw to it? Uh, it'll be interesting to see. <laughs> yeah. I think it's designed for, there's actually st set measurements between yep. stud walls. Yep. So of course the frames in there have a limit and this falls within those frame limits. Yep. So we should be fine with that. So yeah, okay. again, that's so, good. And nice. again, do you think it will save us any time, Joe? I think that could potentially save you masses of time. I'd be interested in uh, yeah, seeing how easy it is to fit, how quick it is to fit. And I right. always found if you put a timber one in, did you always put enough fixings to stop it having that rocking? Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Potentially yeah. a little bit of, bit of twist on that. 
So, yeah, yeah, could be another good. race in there. We'll put that one in the cupboard. Yep. At some point. <laughs> Let me yeah. find a saw and a piece of timber before we start there, because I tell you, I'm not getting that one either. So again, a, a clever little product. Uh, it's got a huge potential to save electricians time, yep. and we like products to save electricians time. 100%. Yep. Nice. Love really, that. really good. Like that. So what have you got, guys? I've got a uh, socket or switch bead, so it's called the socket and switch bead. So they come in one and two gang uh, plates, and these that, that, are... That looks like a plastic product. Well. We've got other trades that we like to help, okay, so when we're on site that we want to be, uh, you know, very giving amongst the other trades. And the plastering trade tend to have an opportunity maybe to um, make our life a little bit more difficult and we want yep. to make our life easier. So we, we're used to chasing boxes in. So again, if we go back to these boxes, we're used to chasing these into walls. Mm -hmm. And obviously then we curl our cables back into the box. Yep been uh, very generous towards our plastering team. But of course, when they come to skim over them, that plaster will fill or semi-fill that box. It becomes a little bit more tricky. The idea of these are, uh, during our first fix, is that we have our boxes. Okay, so if we've got a, a two-gang box on the wall, we chase it in, we, we lay our cables in, and we just simply place that over the front of it, oh, nice. like so. Yep. Okay, the plaster comes along now, he's got what ideally is the wall he always wants to see, isn't it? Yep. A completely smooth wall. Yep. That's the easiest that wall to skim. Yep. Yeah, so it'll skim the, the wall complete, and then what you'll do afterwards is you just take a knife as a preformed edge all the way around, wow. take a sharp knife and just cut it out. This part of the actual bead stays in situ. So you're not going to have that horrible situation where you start gently tapping the plaster out to, to reveal the box and suddenly the wall the caves in at the top here. and you're left with a, a big yeah. gap around it. Lovely. And we'd like to think that then, because we've done that much effort, that they're not going to suggest they're going to cut our cables a little Absolutely. shorter back yeah. because they're hanging out the front and those cables have been identified at switch drops, etc. So not just making electricians' lives easier, this is like a <coughs> peacemaking bit of equipment on site. <laughs> this is <laughs> contributing peace. to peace this and is harmony. The UN. This is the, the UN of electrical <laughs> products. And again, I think we, we've talked about this, it, it might be something that actually is actually specified by the designer. What was yeah, the I, think, I mean, I think obviously the, the, the big winner in this is obviously the client because yeah. they end up with a nice finish around their accessories at yeah. home. Uh, and, and that's where you, you tend to notice it on the places where you go to, yeah. to, to uh, you know, operate switches and plug things in. So I think the challenge with this product is who installs it because sometimes there's boxes on yeah. place before the plaster or the, you know, mm. so who, who yeah. cares about the finish? Well, ultimately the client. So I think really it should be, I wouldn't be surprised if architects start specifying yeah. those on the, on the build spec for a project. And what I like about this also, it's a, an emerging product. It's, it's a one man's invention. Yep. It's Pete Carter. Yep. He's come up with this idea and he's pushing it through mostly through LinkedIn. Yep. And we would have had, Joe, wouldn't we? We would have had a downlight bead as well. Why haven't we got one of them in the pack? We haven't got a downlight bead in because it's actually uh, installed into a bit of ceiling. We've been uh, having a play with it and we've plastered it into a ceiling uh, in our workspace. So we're going to uh, release a video on that to come, sort of having a little bit of a review and looking at how it works. So uh, we're actually in the process. Now we're just waiting to the point where we can knock that out and finish that video and see what it looks like. Okay. Just a, another little point, it's got these little fixing holes as well, so you can actually screw this onto your box as well if you want. Okay. So you can just open that up, you're not just relying on it sitting in the hole, you can actually fix it onto the box, which is just a nice little nice I mean, little I, touch I, I think well, the, the lighting one could be one of the biggest winners as well, because yeah. the number of times people you put, you put a light in and leave the cables up and go back and try and drill and remember where you've put them. Yeah. Is, uh, and again, skimming a ceiling with a hole in it, that plaster goes in the hole and falls back on you. Horrible. That's not uh, a winner for the plaster, I would suggest. No, it's good. Okay, that. so uh, that's that product. So we go back to you now, Gordon. What have you got? Uh, right, I've got this 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 little uh, handy little product here called the Marksman. Mm. Now, so you, you try to position an accessory on a wall, and what do you normally do to mark where you're about to drill it? You normally get the pencil out, join this pencil, and just try and mark a hole through. Uh, this is is basically a little a little pot of spray paint and this little um, this little um, uh, cross shaped receptacle and basically you put it through the box. So we've got one of our boxes here, and you just you just mark it on there, push down, and it oh, leaves wow. a. Nice. Yeah, leaves a little mark. cross on there. Yeah, oh, leaves wow. a cross. <laughs> <laughs> leaves yeah. a cross. X marks the spot. That's really smart. So I think dead easy little tool here. You can lock it off when you're not doing it, so it doesn't accidentally go off in your pocket. <laughs> or you don't. Pointed uh, at me at that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, really, I could <laughs> put it back on. But I don't know what happens when you squirt it at a distance at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that is just yeah, great little, yeah. incredibly simple. It, I mean, just simple. they should have been around yeah. 20 years ago, shouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 I, I think as well, I've seen these used where you can go through quite deep yeah. holes as well. That's another big advantage yeah. to it. So it's you know, if you've got a deep hole, obviously you know, I don't know if anyone else has spent sort of 20 minutes sharpening. 
a pencil, so the lead's about that long by itself, but obviously no. that... <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> <laughs> or the long, thin terminal screwdriver yeah. scratching yeah. the wall with Probably it. Probably yeah. that about, yeah. No, just but take that the just tip just... off the screwdriver, that's yeah. how I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's a, that's a really good yeah, solution to that problem. I like that. It's really yeah. good. So, and again, you're on a first fix, that's in your tool belt, and, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. We're, and we've got, got fixing positions to suit, so again, Absolutely. it will save you time, but it's, it's quite a nice tactile product as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, so when you've got one Lovely of those, looking. it's quite cute. Very cool. Very cool. What have you got, Dan and Joe? Right, okay. So last time on the list, I believe, I think we're okay. approaching the end. The last product is, of course, uh, the quad saw. Yes. And we do like the quad saw very much, don't we? Well, uh, mm, yeah. We've seen this on a few occasions now. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. So uh, we've not got a drill set up today, but uh, the, the principle being, of course, uh, if we've got lots and lots of holes that we need to cut into plasterboard for boxes, uh, either double or single, the quad saw is going to save us hours of work. It's basically using, uh, uh, we can drill a, a square hole using a drill, which yep. is just fantastic, yeah. isn't it? You notice it's got a spirit level on the top there, Joe. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed yeah. that out, Gordon. Yeah, might yeah. have mentioned in a previous video that when I started as an electrician, <laughs> some of my holes were a little bit wonky. Yeah. Yep. I got better, yeah. But once again, <laughs> we've got the spirit level that helps us to uh, to keep that uh, nice and square as well. Okay. So. And again, I think that's going to come back with us. I think I'll be taking it on with the pad saw, the yep. mighty pad yep. saw, as you've got the quad saw. Yep. And I think we'll put it through its paces to see, prove how much time it can. I'm very much looking forward to you know sort of maybe five holes versus five holes, and we'll see okay. who can who can get them done nice and square and neat and the box just fall in with absolutely no rattling around or having to be forced in. Well, not uh, quite going in. We could maybe do all the marking <laughs> as well. I, I, I think we might see a bit of a time saving on this. And again, we love time saving products. Yeah, and again, you're doing a housing estate, yeah. you're the electrical contracting firm. You get yourself one of those at the start of the contract. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got hundreds of boxes that you can install using that. So therefore yeah. we could argue that's going to save electricians time. Absolutely. And we yeah. like that, don't we? Yeah, totally. Love it. Great. That's brilliant. Well, that's our roundup here from uh, Switch Electrical in Peterborough. Um, you know, what we've seen today is great range of products for those first fix installations. If there's a product out there you think we've missed, uh, or, or that really that you're using a lot of on site, then please send us the details via social media, the link under the video, or via our website. But uh, thanks again.